Hi, I am Aliza Tanvir from Skillcurve. In this video, you will learn how to create a multi-node Spark cluster using GCP. Spark is a distributed cluster and you may want to access the real distributed cluster for exploring how things are going to work in a real distributed cluster. And for that, we will first open the GCP console and create a data proc cluster. Then we are going to select the configurations for the master node. After that, we will select the configurations for worker nodes and then finally we will create the cluster. You should have a Google Cloud account and it is a paid service but Google also provides free credits for the first timers. Once you have a GCP account, go to your console homepage and you will see a dashboard similar to this. Click on the GCP menu and select data proc. Data procs will be present inside the analytics part of the menu. Scroll down a bit and once you move into analytics, select data proc and then select cluster to create a data proc cluster. Google data proc is an on-demand yarn cluster which comes with Spark setup. If you are using it first time, it is going to show you the message that data proc API has not been enabled and then it will redirect us to the API management dashboard to enable the cloud data proc API. And once the data proc API is enabled, you have to click create cluster button. And it is going to ask you whether you want to create the cluster on the compute engine or on the Google Kubernetes engine. I am going to select compute engine. And once you land on this page, you have to follow certain steps. First, you have to provide a name to your cluster. I am going to call it my yarn cluster and you can give any name to your cluster you want. Then we have the location in which you want to select the region and a zone. I am going to go with the default values that GCP has set for me. Then you have to select the cluster type. For the cluster type, I am going to go with the standard one having one master node and n worker nodes. After that, scroll down a bit. No need to change the policy for auto scaling. Leave versioning as it is and the only thing that we need to change here is the component gateway and we have to enable the component gateway because it will provide us access to the web interfaces of default 10 selected components of the cluster and we can access the spark ui and the history server then for the optional components i am going to select the anaconda and the zeppelin notebook which is similar to databricks okay you can select any other option that you want and once you do this go to the next point which is to configure the node here you have two th types of nodes one is the master node or the manager node and the other one are the worker nodes here we have to select the series you can select e2 n2 or any other you want i'm going to go with the default one then we have to select the machine type for the master node i am going to go with the standard one having two core cpu and 8 gb memory then primary disk size is a lot i am going to change it to only 32 gb then we have to provide the same information for the worker node for the worker node i'm going to go with the standard one having two cpus and 8 gb memory then we have to define the number of worker nodes i'm going to have a four node yarn cluster having a one master and three data nodes so here instead of two i am going to provide three to provide three data nodes for it then once again i am going to change the disk size to 32 gb because i don't need that much memory and then leave all other things as it is and simply click create and once you click create button it will take some time for the creation and after a while your cluster will be created and it will be ready to use after a few minutes you can see that our cluster has been successfully created let's go inside it and here you can see the cluster dashboard showing you the yarn memory the yarn pending memory and the node manager etc these matrices are going to change once we will use the cluster okay so let's click on the vm instances and you can see that right now we have four virtual machines in simple words we can say that we have four nodes one is the master node and the other three are the worker nodes that we created while creating the cluster okay 
so now you have created a multi node cluster using gcp and you can use this in further processing which we are going to do in the future videos and this is how you can create a spark multi node cluster on the google cloud platform that is all for this video thank you